Reporter Amy Davis now shows us how El Segundo's first responders are competing to save lives. I'm here at the El Segundo Fire Department, where right behind me they're hosting their sixth annual Battle of the Badges blood drive. So join me and I'll show you what saving a life looks like. It is a well-known fact that police officers and firefighters share the common goal of saving lives, but it is uncommon for them to compete for the same purpose. Or is it? For the past six years, the Red Cross has partnered up with both badge-carrying agencies and developed a friendly competition between the two as a fun and different way to help their fellow man. Each department actually competes to see who can save the most lives by donating blood. Each police officer and firefighter is asked to fill out a battle ballot stating which department and city they work for at the start of their blood donation. This ensures that they are part of the competition. The first place winner gets a prize that's well worth the effort, according to Red Cross's Alice Lan. They win uh, an award. It's just a cert certificate and also bragging rights. So they really don't win anything per se, but they get to say that they save lives. Firefighters, police officers, and several civilian donors have been gathering here all day to donate their blood. A process that takes only 30 minutes to an hour makes a significant difference in the lives of others. El Segundo Fire Chief Kevin Smith says he is proud to have his department host the event. With all the blood drives that go on, what, uh, what I've learned is there's still a, a, a significant shortage. And so anything that we can do, and, and again, it's, it's very simple, it takes about 30 minutes out of your day, but, uh, but the, the upside of, of saving lives is, is, is huge. For those of you scared of needles and avoid them at all cost, each pint of blood donated can save up to three lives. It's, it's easy to do, it's uh, just about pain free, and uh, the truth is that it does so much good for people that uh, uh, it's, it's a great way to give to people in need. Every time it comes a little bit different, sometimes you get a really good nurse who slides that needle in and you don't even know she's done it, but it's always a good experience. The process that each donor goes through is simple and fast, but does have some prerequisites. First, the donor must sign in and fill out some paperwork, read a short manual, and answer some health questions. After they've completed those first steps, a nurse will prick their finger to test their blood to see if it's medically safe for them to donate. Following the short procedure, each person is asked to sit at a snack table and enjoy cookies, juice, and other free treats. You can have chips deluxe, you can have pretzels, there's a little bit of everything here for everybody. In addition to the free snacks, each donor gets to leave knowing that they help save lives. And the departments are pleased to see the amount of donors their event brings in for the American Red Cross. Over the last few, four years, we've been averaging about, about 30 uh, donors uh, per, per year. And uh, you, you, you do the math and, and we're making a significant difference. For El Segundo TV, I'm Amy Davis.